submitting judgments to search engines. And in particular, we want run into the situation often where somebody obtains a judgment against someone for defamation related to defamatory internet speech. Right. And their judgment is against the individual. And of course, the individual doesn't own a search engine or control it. So what happens in that situation is the, the plaintiff submits the judgment to Google, Yahoo, and Bing and requests that whatever the defamatory content is, that it be de-indexed right. from the search engine results. So, Yeah, and by de-indexing that means if they make the search for the specific terms like the plaintiff's name in that case, the pages that have the defamatory content according to the judgment wouldn't show up in the results. That's right. So talk to me a little bit about, let's just focus in on Google because they're the, the the biggest search engine at issue. And let's try to work our way through this. Will, will Google de-index pursuant to a judgment? And in what situations will they? And in what situations won't they? So let's try to break this down. So the initial answer is Google might de-index in response to a judgment. Um, in the past, they've been more uh, agreeable to do it. it. Recently they've become a little bit less agreeable. Do we know why they've been less inclined uh, to de-index? Well, I, I mean part of it is that search is still one of their primary products and providing relevant results as they deem it is their, in their interest. Lately we've been seeing reports and studies about certain uh, certain plaintiffs or plaintiff's attorneys that have been getting sort of not very legitimate judgments and turning for the purpose of going to Google and trying to get something de-indexed. Um, we saw a report that uh, certain plaintiff's attorneys, I think in the Bay Area, had sort of discovered dummy defendants. Straw man defendants. Yeah. They could, uh, who, who didn't actually post the content but would be willing to be named as a defendant right. in order to effectuate these removals. So, um, so Google's taken a harder look. So can you give me an example of, of, of a judgment in a circumstance where Google would de-index and where they might not? So I, I think you have to look at all of these judgments sort of on a spectrum of how litigated the issue was in the court and how much confidence Google has that the, the final result is the result of a fair trial process. Um, so at the extreme end you'd have something like after a trial where the defendant showed up and there was testimony you got a judgment that said this post, this one specific post on this one website was by this person and was defamatory. I think in that instance that's probably the strongest case you're gonna have that Google will say, yeah, we'll take that out of the search results. Uh, at the far other end, you have some, something like, um, something that's very not litigated where a defendant doesn't show up in court, um, Google can't confirm that the defendant even knew about this case, um, it's not clear from the pleadings or the judgment that the defendant actually wrote any of this uh, material like those strawman defendants we were talking about. Um, it's a, a possibly a default judgment um, where service wasn't necessarily very good. Either the service was by uh, email or posting to Facebook or, or publication in a newspaper that the defendant might not read. Yeah, I think that's an important issue to focus in on. We've recently run into this issue uh, where we weren't involved in the, uh, in the case or the obtaining of the judgment, but we tried to help out afterwards and Google, and it was a service by publication issue, right. and, and it appears that Google will not um, de-index. So I think, you know, for the plaintiffs out there and their lawyers uh, thinking about how to proceed, um, I think there needs to be a shift in mentality. They might think that they're getting a great easy victory by serving by publication, but that might not be the case. That might be fool's gold. Yeah. You might want to 
really focus in on on service and making sure it's as bulletproof as as possible. Yeah, and, and then other things that may or may not be red flags. Uh, I got recently uh, a message from Bing saying, while we would remove de-index specific posts, if your judgment also includes index indexes themselves. So, for example, your po the post is on ripoffreport.com, and your judgment includes not only the original post but other pages that are linking to or 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 sort of republishing that original post in part. So you know how that shows up on ripoff report. You have the link to the original title on a different page. You might get that result in the judgment. Bing notices that and says, well, we, we're just going to look at the, uh, the actual defamatory content pages, these index pages or the, the, like the table of contents kind of pages. We're not, we're not interested in removing those because that's going to touch a whole bunch of other content than the defamatory stuff. So with 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 Bing, there's a concern that they're they're getting rid of too much content now. Will they throw the? But they won't throw the baby out with the bathwater. They will, in our experience, remove um, the core post, uh, but they'll ignore some of the other URLs in the judgment. That appears appears to be what they're doing. Yeah. Okay, and I think the last point we need to make on this is there's no there's no certainty. Um, there, it, it, it's kind of all across the map. You submit these judgments to these search engines and they kind of go into the machine. And, and you do get responses, but there's not a lot of transparency, uh, at least in my experience. Maybe you can differ as far yeah. as specifically what they're looking at. Um, the last point I think I'd like to make is, is there's currently a case before the California Supreme Court. We've talked about it before. It's the yeah. Hassel v. Bird case. And that case says an ISP or a search engine like Google has to obey and follow uh, what amounts to a judgment or a permanent injunction. And I think that's currently being uh, appealed by Yelp is the party in that case. But right. of course, Google and all of the search engines and ISPs are lining up on Yelp's side. So I think that could be you know, very determinative because if that, if that case holds up, and a Google has to honor even a default judgment, Right, that's a real game changer, uh, at least here in California, for, for plaintiffs. So we'll keep our eye out on that result. That's all for our cyber liability update. We'll see you next time.